Adina here, J6. Physical prototyping, why and how. Today, we're going to be making our own parachute. We're going to be making three different types of prototypes. A plastic parachute, a newspaper parachute, and a milk box parachute. Materials required are plastic bag, newspaper, a milk box, string or yarn, scissors, I don't have a water balloon, so I'm going to use a regular balloon to fill up water, tape, and a glove. I don't have a plastic bag, so I'm going to be using the glove to fill up water. The first step is to tie the string onto the plastic bag. This is how I tied the plastic parachute. My water balloons are ready. This is my large balloon. This is my medium balloon. And this is my glove balloon. It looks so cool. Now I'm going to tie the large balloon onto the plastic parachute, the medium balloon on the newspaper parachute, and the glove balloon on the milk box parachute. My prototypes are ready. Let me show you them. The first one is the plastic parachute. The second one is the newspaper parachute. And the third one is the milk parachute. Now let's go outside in the balcony and test my prototype. Parachute. I am on the fourth floor and I'm going to test my newspaper parachute. The newspaper is still intact, but the balloon is burst. Now I'm going to check my milk box parachute. Milk box is intact, but the balloon burst. Now I'm going to check my plastic bag parachute. As you can see, the plastic bag is intact, but the balloon got burst. The plastic parachute came down more faster because it had a heavier balloon than the newspaper parachute. The box came down slowly because it was made of cardboard. That's why it came last. The heavier the object is that it is attached to the parachute, the stronger the downward pull of gravity. From this experiment, my conclusion is that if you have two parachutes with the same size and shape but made of different materials, one heavier than other, the heavier parachute will fall faster. Hope you like my experiment. Make your own parachute and have fun. Thank you!